Welcome back, scholars. Hope this was pretty easy. You had two minutes to get it in uh, to go ahead and work on it. So let's go and look at the problem. The problem is solve for n. Solve the problem for n. Write your answer below. Try to visualize the answer without using the place value chart, but it is available if you need it. So what we're going to do is take 4,367 times 10 to get n. So let me go ahead and go to my fix can. I will be using the chart, but if I visualized it myself, I knew it looked something like this times 10, which meant that I had a 0, 7, 6, 3, 4. So I knew the answer was going to be 43,640. So how does this work out? Well, I'm multiplying by 10. So I got to do my place values. So if I multiply by 10, this 7 becomes 7 tenths. This 6 tenths becomes 6 hundreds. This 3 hundreds becomes 3 thousands. And this 4 thousands becomes 10, 4 ten thousands. So the answer is 43,670. So either way, I got the right answer. Hopefully you got the right one. Let's get back. Now we're going to go to our next draw, uh, draw it. It's going to be the same problem, but you're going to be dividing by 10. So let's check it out. So it's 4,000. 367 divided by 10. Try to get the answer here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause for two minutes. Pause in the video in three, two, one. Pause. All right, guys. I'm going to be asking you to go ahead and put the answer either in the chat or somebody raise their hand if you're in the classroom and tell your teacher what you got. Pause in here in three, two, one. Excellent, excellent. I heard some of you do it and some of you gave me in the chat. Let's go ahead and look at the flex can. So to visualize it, you have to remember that you're dividing by 10. So if you're dividing by 10, we know that our place value digits are going to move over one place value. All right. So I know that that seven is going to become tenths. The six tenths are become six ones. The three hundreds are become tens, three tens. And the four thousands are going to become four hundreds. So hopefully the answer you got is 436 and seven tenths. Glad to hear that y'all got it right. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Here, I'm going to pause the video for two minutes. When we come back, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and put this answer in the chat. If you're in the classroom, give it to your volunteer and give it to your teacher. I'm going to pause the video for two minutes. Pausing in three, two, one. Excellent, guys. Glad to see you working hard. And like I said, I'm just going to pause here. What is 215 and 6 tenths times 100? Can you please give me the answer? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes, we're multiplying by 100. So the correct answer is if we're multiplying by hundreds, we have to put zeros in the ten in the ones zero in the tens so we can start in the hundreds so the five goes over here to the five hundreds the tens goes over to the thousands and the hundreds goes over to the ten hundreds so we got two hundred we have twenty one thousand five hundred oops excuse me I started wrong 
it's six, five. I forgot the six guys. You should have told me here. It's going to become 15,600. 215,600 is what the correct answer is. All right, excellent. Now I'm gonna take the time to do the, this one here. We have 215 and 600 divided by 100. Gonna give you two minutes to do that in. I'm gonna pause the video in three, two, one. Excellent guys. Now what is the answer you got for this one? Pausing in three, two, one. Excellent. You got two and one hundred and fifty six thousands. That is correct. How do we know? Let's let's look at the flex cam again. I know I'm dividing by hundreds. So when that happens, I am moving over two values because of the zeros. So I move over to the thousands. The five moves over to the hundreds. The one moves over to the one. And the two hundreds moves over to the two. So that becomes two and 156 thousands. Hope you all were able to do that. Let's go ahead and see what our next slide is here. Let's complete your classwork. You're gonna have 10 minutes to complete this quiz. This quiz has about eight questions on there. They're all multiple choice. But if you've seen the pattern in multiplying by powers of 10, it shouldn't take you the full 10 minutes. See you in 10, pausing in three, Two, one, pause.